with the numbers right up on your screen now. So there's the Phytonomics. Make of those what you will. Switch plays Orthodox. Not a lot between these two. Slight age advantage to Desme. But uh, bet your bottom dollar. Nobody's firing blanks in this gunfight now. Three rounds at lightweight. Lukas Rajewski in red takes on Donovan Desme, our referee Lukas Buzaski presiding over events. Just to let you know, this will be conducted over three KSW MMA rounds. Round one. For me, this fight is all about building on those last performances. Ryavsky did get the nod over Konrad Dierschka, a really durable, tough grappler. Can he use those skills and shut down everything Desme throws at him here tonight? Desme is slightly the riskier guy, I feel like, a little bit more unorthodox, sometimes goes in really deep and commits to things. I want to see a smarter performance from him as well. He needs to build on that experience in his loss to a two-time title challenger in Roman Szymanski last time. Yeah, Wukash is definitely the more composed of the two brothers, you know what I mean? He takes his time, he's more patient. So I'm, I'm looking for, for the same, same thing from him every single time, is that a composure, that patience, the angles that he takes, hands are up really nicely, really nice start with the jab, nice jab to the body right there. Calf kick. Very nice work from Ryevsky. He's beaten him in these early exchanges, beaten him with a punch and the kick. Desme is a little more unorthodox, a little bit maybe less classically trained in the stand-up as you talked about, Kristoff. But he's dangerous, and it makes it work for MMA. Little leg catch there from Desme, brings in the high kick as well. Confidence given the uh, curriculum vitae that uh, his opponent, Lukas Ryevsky, possesses. Good all-round martial arts skills. Sander, tough, tough discipline in traditional martial arts. And of course, that uh, family background. Uh, I think they're both very respectful of each other. Desme is uh, remarkably relaxed. Very relaxed. I'm curious what the game plan is against a guy like Ryevsky. I would have thought maybe get the clinch going, maybe really try to tire him down, cut him off. But he's patient. Maybe he's looking to pull a counter. Maybe they see some openings in the way that Ryevsky commits. Ryevsky's most comfortable when he's leading, much like his brother. I mean, they love to dictate the dance. So no surprises here that he's staying busy. Powerful low kick there to the calf from Ryevsky. Follows it through, and someone got clipped. And that's a little bit of a warning sign. There we go. He's going to go for the clinch. This is what I thought. He kind of waited. Ryevsky threw a little bit of a lackluster combination, didn't really chuck a bunch of power. And then he went in and charged. Yeah, we don't often see Ryevskis on, the, on their back, you know what I mean, or, or in these positions. You know, they're usually out, out in the open. So this is testing the, uh, testing the water. For this man. Nice takedown, very nice. And this little heel pick. Very nice, the yeah, pick the leg straight out. From one to the second. Desmond is good. He is so athletic. I mean, that's the thing. When you're that kind of a gagey and wily guy. Nice spin by Ryevsky. For sure. That's the explosiveness that we're talking about with the, with the, the maturity of MMA. When you, when you grow, you know what I mean? You go from being a 22-year-old to 30-something-year-old, you know? That experience in the, learning how to explode. When, when you need to use your body and how to explode very quickly. So back to the upright, and uh, well, a lot of respect being given, a lot of respect being earned. Uh, Desme might fall foul of that low kick, a little bit of redness on the left lead leg, the calf, and uh, as you suspect, he's moving, but that left leg comes up high, quick, big uppercut there, tries to catch Ryevsky, but uh, Ryevsky not asleep on duty here, and uh, that had a lot of potential. Yeah, that lead kick from this man is so quick, right? And Ryevsky does a really good job to catch that. If Ryevsky can keep busy and give him so many different threats like we're seeing here, that is really good. Because Shimansky was a very good striker, but a little bit more boxing-centric. Ryevsky gives him all these little different kicks, calf kick, body kick, leg kick, different punching combinations. 
But Desme seems to be waiting. I think the strategy is let Ryevsky throw because you know he's going to lead and then try and counter either with something like this or even some strikes of his own. Up oh, and over, bang! Desme uses his power to dump Ryevsky. That was a shocker. The guy's athletic, man. He's uh, really good at going from first gear to fifth, just straight into it. And you don't really see it coming. He's just kind of hobbling, plodding along, and then just does something really big. I'm definitely watching a nice high level of the air right now. Very nice, both, both, like both parties. Yeah, I agree. Very clean work, very clean work, good separation. And uh, the techniques, well, they're hard to deliver when um, your opponent is as good as these guys are uh, to deliver payload really hard. Yeah, everything has a purpose. Everything has a purpose in this fight. Even Ryevsky's kick there was because he saw Desmond raise his left leg and then he knew he was kind of off balance with weight on one leg, so he threw it and beat him to it. It's just these little decisions that not only him, but his brother, as you'll see later tonight, yeah. are just tremendous strikers. Yeah, half kick, I think he landed it about two, three times, and, and uh, you can see the redness and the swelling on Desmond's uh, left leg, left calf. Yeah, the low kick, well, as a kickboxer, that's a staple. And as a Sander fighter, that's one of the statements, because that discipline employs very hard kicks. Oh, inside thigh kick. Desmay has to accept that on the way in. Damn. Just so calculating. Every move, good right hand there, that connected. And you don't want to be there waiting for those too often. Yeah, he definitely found Ryevsky, who often moves his head off the center line, either kind of uh, with his upper body feints and so on, or post combination which is where Desmond was able to find him there. But what I found very interesting is I'm looking at Ryevsky's eyes, and his eyes are at his opponent's chest. He's not looking him dead in the eyes or anything like that. He's looking at his chest, at his throat, which is a perfect, perfect way to uh, make sure that he can pick up all of your opponent's limbs. A gentleman never tells, right? <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah. Tricky to get a read on you then as well. Nice, again. You know, Desme was going to kick, and Ryevsky just booted the back leg. It's just terrific shot selection. That's the difference here. It's not that Desme is like a lesser athlete, or even has a, a lesser understanding necessarily of the actual techniques, but it's the decision making in these little chaotic moments when both guys are looking to optimize what they're trying to lead or trade with. It's just years and years of, uh, of work in, yep. in, in this field. And you can see how quickly his head gets off the angle. As soon as he lands, he moves. He moves. He's never still in the same spot. Very nice work by Ayevsky. See, this is the time I'd like to see this man get a little bit on the inside more and start looking for that shot again, you know? He's a little too patient from the outside. He's finding a little too, a little too much from the outside right now. Which was my criticism, really, in the last round. Yeah. You can't do this for three five-minute rounds against Ryevsky because he can do this for 25 minutes. Yeah. I mean, the guy is a machine. Nice again. Desmond was looking for something there. The right hand maybe dropping a little bit low for Ryevsky. But again, look at that kick catch. Ryevsky has the counter dexterity just to retract it and stay balanced. His ability to stay balanced in these trades has been the biggest difference. Low blow. A little bit of an offside strike there from the double scissor knee kick. And uh, Desme acknowledges Ryevsky's had recovery time and back to the center of the cage. Yeah, what, what I love about Ryevsky is that he throws something and he's off center. See that just like that. See how he's like, cutting the angle to the left? Very, very nice. Throws the jab, throws the jab, circles to the left. He's never staying in the same state But it was a nice knee pick up again for Desme. This is a huge opportunity right now. Yeah, I was going to say, is he looking to switch? And now he's looking to obviously defend what looks to be the hands together that Desme did get. Nice. Very nice. Desme now going for the back. Well, at this stage now, the reversal has caused problems. And he's hooked in. And he has the upper hand here from the rear, Lukas Ryevsky. Well, entering a little bit of a world of pain here. We're just under two minutes left, and Desme causing mayhem there for Ryevsky. I thought he was maybe going to go for a Kimura trap initially, but then obviously the back opened up. This is huge. Desme has a big opportunity here. He 
stuck to him like Velcro, Desme, not letting yeah, anything out. I mean, this is a tricky position for him, Christoph. Definitely. I, I think that what's, what's, what's hurting him right now is that he's still too close to the fence. He needs to get, get slightly off that fence because it's getting him in the way, especially with that head being in the way. But he's still doing a really good job of control right now. Still managing to get the arm round there. We're in submission territory. How deep, I don't know. But Desme, very relaxed, very controlled. And, uh, well, a little referee check there. Nice Let's job. Get the legs up. He's going to go triangle here, Will. I love it. He had the over under. Now he's going to go triangle. He's got an arm bar. He's got a whole host but That's of it. It's a submission. It's all over. What a performance here from Desmond. Donovan Desme, what a performance. That came from nowhere. He released the rear position uh, for a choke and let his opponent slip down. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission, Tornova Desme. Desme takes the win.